Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google reCAPTCHA onto your websites just like this. That way it makes it harder for people to bot your forms. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create our Node.js application. So let's click Terminal, New Terminal. And to create our application, we're going to type npm init. This is going to ask us a couple questions. They're not very important. So we're just going to click Enter to skip them. And now we're going to install three packages. Let's type in npmi express and also ejs. All right, let's give this a couple seconds. Now let's install one more package. So let's type npmi, and this one is called nodemon. And for this one, we're also going to type hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. Now let's go over to our JSON file and right underneath where it says test, we're going to add a comma, type in dev. We're also going to include nodemon app.js. Now let's create this file. So let's go over here and we're going to call this app.js. Let's also create a folder. We're going to call this one views. And inside that, we're going to create a file called index.ejs. All right, let's go into our app.js, and this is where we're going to create our server. All right, first, we're going to bring in the express package that we just installed. Now we're going to create our application, stored in this variable app. Now we're going to set our view engine. We're going to use EJS. And now we're going to allow the user to input information on the front end so we can process it over here on the back end. We have to use that together with express.json. Now we're going to create a variable that is going to hold the port number that we're going to run this application on. I'm going to be running this on port 3000, but if I decide to deploy this, then it's going to be running on this port. And now let's output a message that is going to let us know that our server is running successfully. So this is just a console log message. And we're just going to output server started on port. And let's add our variable in there. All right, now let's go down here. Let's type in npm run dev. And if you did everything correctly, you should see a message that says server started on port 3000. All right, now let's add our first route. This is going to be a get route. This is going to output the home page. So let's render our index.ejs file, though we do not have to include .ejs. All right, let's create that file now. All right, and here we're going to add our HTML. Let's go inside the body, and we're going to output a message that says, contact us. Let's create a form in here so the user can contact us through this form. We're going to create a route called contact, and this is going to be a post method. Let's also give this an ID name of contact form. And we're going to allow the user to input their name, email, and message. So let's create a label for name. And let's create an input as well. Let's add a name in here so we can access this information on our server. And let's copy this twice. We're going to change this to email. And let's change this to message. Let's open up our browser. And we're going to search for localhost port 3000. All right, and here's our form. 
Now let's add Google reCAPTCHA to our app. So let's open up a new tab and we're gonna search for Google reCAPTCHA. You should see something that looks like this. Go ahead and click on the link that says reCAPTCHA admin and please make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to see this page. For label, you're gonna add whatever your application is about. For instance, if it's about arts and crafts, then go ahead and add that in there. Mine is a tutorial application, so I'm just gonna add that. And for reCAPTCHA type, select reCAPTCHA v2 and invisible. Invisible is actually what they're using here, so this is exactly what we're gonna be adding to our application. For domains, go ahead and add localhost. Please do not include the port number, otherwise it's not gonna work. And if you're deploying this application on a particular domain, then you can just go ahead and add it like that. Click the plus symbol to add it. But since I'm not gonna be using that, then I'm not gonna add that. And also if you plan to deploy this in the future, then you can always come back and add the domain name. Go ahead and click accept and click submit. This is gonna give you two keys. This one is not gonna be necessary for this application because this reCAPTCHA does not require this secret key. We only need this one here. All right, let's click here and this is gonna show us exactly how to use this reCAPTCHA. There's actually three different ways that you can use it in your app and we're gonna be using the first method that they show us here. Now, notice that there's a head tag and two script tags within it. We're gonna copy those and we're gonna paste them exactly where they pasted theirs in our project. All right, let's go back and we're also gonna need this button that is inside the form. So let's copy that and we're gonna paste that within our form right at the bottom. And notice that there's something that says data site key, your site key, where this is where our key is gonna go. So let's copy our key and we're going to replace your site key with our key. And also notice that we gave an ID of contact form to our form. So let's copy that and replace demo form, which is what they had originally. And now if we go back to our project and click refresh, you should be able to see the submit button and also the reCAPTCHA. All right, the final thing we're gonna do is create this contact post route. So let's go back to our app.js and let's create that route. All right, in here, I'm just gonna grab the user input. So name, email, and message. And in here, you could do whatever you want with this information. Typically, you're probably gonna wanna send yourself an email. So I'm just gonna add a comment that says, do whatever you want with the data. I'm just gonna redirect myself to this page just to test out the reCAPTCHA. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'm just gonna type in whatever. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I see the reCAPTCHA. Oh, and there we go. All right, so this is what it looks like. So this is not gonna let me submit the form until I select what they want me to select. So once I do that, it's gonna allow me to submit the form. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Please make sure to hit the like button if you found this useful. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. That's gonna be it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.